At last, a Manchester United game to watch, but huge issues for Rangnick to rectify. Let's go through some of it on the whiteboard. A lot is now being made of Manchester United's inability to create chances and score goals. There are other opinions out there, but for me, there are two clear reasons as to why we are struggling to create and score. Against Newcastle, we had Matomini and Fred as the sixes and Rashford and Fernandez as the tens. When Fernandez dropped deep, Fred moved forward into the space vacated by Fernandez, and the same thing was happening on the other side. When Rashford dropped deep, McTominay would step forward. In theory, rotation of players while maintaining tactical shape is something top teams strive for, but it created this situation where we had our goal threats in the middle third and our ball winners in the final third. When you see this, it's not surprising we struggle to create and score. Going to screenshots of the game, we can see Fernandez has dropped deep and Fred has attacked the space vacated by Fernandez. Fernandez plays a good ball to Fred, who is in a great position between the lines, but gets dispossessed by Shelby. Realistically, we want to see Fernandez in these positions, not Fred. In this next example, with Rashford dropping deep, McTominay has taken up this centre forward position. Looking at this, how are we supposed to be a potent side? with Rashford here and McTominay there. The second issue is, with this narrow formation, we are not exploiting wide areas efficiently enough. Newcastle defended narrow to avoid the central overload, which left United's fullbacks open the whole game. But from here, we weren't attacking the space in behind, with either runs off the ball, or the fullback on the ball taking his man on. Consequently, we were just moving the ball from side to side without threatening these spaces in behind. Going to screenshots of the game, the ball has been switched out to Dallow and we can see how much space there is on the outside. Rashford as usual goes to the ball instead of making a run into the space and Dallow doesn't want to take his man on. As a result, Dallow plays the ball in field where Newcastle have the numbers and Fred gives the ball away. But in the second half, the change of formation to a 4-1-3-2 allowed United to play with more width higher up the pitch. This enabled us to get into these areas, which was pulling Newcastle's defensive formation across the pitch and making their centre-backs run back towards their own goal. Going to screenshots of the game, we can see how much more positive Dallow is at attacking this space. The ball is switched out to him and we can see how getting in behind Newcastle's defence has altered the dynamic in which Newcastle are having to defend. They are scrambling back towards their own goal, which has enabled Cavani to step out and score the equaliser. The Devils verdict is, the big issue for Rangnick from this game is again the lack of work rate. Against Norwich and Newcastle, he has seen firsthand the lazy habits these players developed under Oli. To coach this out of all of the players is virtually impossible. The only thing that will give Rangnick the chance of getting something from the season is allowing him to make two or three signings to change the personnel. He may get one, but I don't see him getting two or three. In my opinion, this is the worst United have been post Sir Alex. And because these standards have been accepted for so long, it's going to take a huge turnaround of players to get United challenging again. Four spot is the equivalent of winning the league for this group. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.